morning and welcome back once again in today's video i want to show us how to couple our kit senator outfit right here this is the men about the outfit i have done the embroidery i believe most of us must have seen the cutting processes so right here i want to show us how to couple it and then as well lay more emphasis on the foldings of the abada sideways and then bear in mind that this method is applicable to everybody both for adults and for kids so um, the embroidering you after cutting the abada itself you take it to the, your designer the person that does the embroidering for you so he will be the one to give you the embroidering design but in most cases you can as well indicate the style or the color you want and then bear in mind that the size of the embroidery should not be as big as the adult own it should be at least reduced so for my own um son's outfit i have it to be six inches width total and then length of um 12 that's six by 12 right so you can as well adopt this um measurement but bear in mind that the boy in question is um, one year plus so if you have a bigger person, you can as well increase the embroidery a bit. So the embroidery should come in line with the person's chest measurement. Now, if it was to be an adult, maybe a grown-up, you might have it to be around 9 inches or 8 inches, thereabout. The difference can be worn, but that one inch will count a lot. So having done embroidery this way, this is my design I got from my designer. And then right here, you have it finished this way. Now, I believe the details of the embroidery should as well be um, in, um, highlighted. Now, if you see the twisted edge of the material, embroidery has a black and yellow um, thread. This is called the um, Amsharaba. And they use it to secure the edge or the edges of your embroidery. And then as well, the neck area. So, and then you, see, you are seeing a silver-like material on the thread. It, it's, it's used to put a kind of designs of fanciful looks on the embroidery so having known a little detail of this and then bear in mind that most of the embroidery is not meant to be done on the fabric itself it's done usually on what we call mirror face that's they use the mirror face the background you want they will get a facing like a mirror face cut in this shape do the whole threading designs on it and then they place on top of the of the main abada itself and then hold with the tacking or a zigzag threading here before they do the finishing of the sharaba so right here this is the process you undergo for you to get your embroidery done after doing the embroidery this way next step you're going to do now is the folding right now remember in the video we did we added a certain inch on the sides and as well they hem it down for us to fold so the inch we added i think was them um, three inches so you, you measure from here, fold your three inches this way, this way, right? So after you must have done your three inches this way, the next thing you will do now, you iron it properly. Make sure it's straight. It's going to be three inches all around, both on the sides and on the damp part. It must be three inches. That's for this kid, about a folding. But for adults, you can use five or four and a half or four, depending on how big or bold you want your embroidery and your folding to be. So having done the folding, you open it up again, then take the tip of the material, push it to the first folding you, you had, then iron it again, so you have this line. So this process, you must fold here double this way, so that's the essence of what I'm trying to say. You must have a double folding here. Now this folding must be done both on the two sides and on the down front and the down back. This is how you will do it. So I have already done it, as you can see, with my iron. So you also replicate these processes. Just fold right round. All the edges must be folded in this form have these lines these lines will help you in the coupling processes very important now most of us must have um, noticed that we have different types of abada clothing on the sides of our abada outfit now but now the best one is the secular one that's the one that when you fold the edge when you turn it flip it over to the shoulder it gives you a secular nature feeling at the sides right so now this video will as well show us how to go about that but then if you might want to know how to do the other one it's just very simple um run a thread across this stuff now run all through and then from inside from inwards you measure six inches depending on the size six inches or seven inches up from here run it across that one will give you an, another type of folding but my own method of folding my brother is not that way I have it to be in a circular form so now after you must have folded now you merge the two down together that's from the inside now 
match the two down together very important match the two down together then we have matched it together you measure from the tip of the fabric so right here you measure from the tip of the fabric this way bear in mind that we are handling the damp part of the cloth yet the sides are still open right no trace or nothing done we are trying to um, get the damp first done this is the this is the up and this is the down so right here you you measure from um, the edge of the fabric now bear in mind that already we have already removed three inches here so these three inches is no longer part of what you are going to be what what you will sew now so from the from the closing or from the edge of the three inches you have to sew like five inches in that's in total you are sewing like eight inches right you're sewing like eight inches so when you sew that eight inches that eight inches is um, um going to be your closing on the damp part of the outfit now this measurement is peculiar to kids and then i would like us to limit whatever i tell you now to kids measurement now in the case whereby you want to make for adults you can now increase your measurement give me chalk so you can now increase for adults so but right here the essence of this video is to show us how to fold for this so you measure you make sure that the lines the, the first line you have folded must tally with the one in front that's make sure that these two lines are tallying make sure that they are tallying that's the only way you can have it properly done Make sure that the, these two lines are tallying. So once they are tallying, you bend it down again. Try to make sure it's corresponding. It must correspond. Then hold it down. Then use your hand to pin it down. Then it must correspond. After corresponding, you now put it on your machine. Put it on your machine. And then you measure extra 5 inches. Now remember that 3 inches is already gone. So from here now five is probably is now eight bar. So you measure eight inches in total, max eight inches. You, you can do your own more than or less than that, but for an ideal closing, I prefer you use this measurement I'm doing. So you make sure that the lines are tallying. That's the sense of this. The first line is the line you're going to sew. That the one inside, not the one down. Now you sew from that edge. Sew from that edge, making sure they are corresponding. So on the line folded then on approaching the point of eight inches make sure you have a nice stitch there stitch properly so it can hardly move or it can't even move at all the after you must have sewn that line you cut off the threads cut off the threads now as well repeat the same thing on the other side of the damp part of the abada itself the, 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 we are working on the damp part then as well hold it together again then make sure that the lines are falling as well so you measure eight inches eight inches remember three is already out so five is what you are using to close so eight inches then make sure the line is falling repeat the same process here as well Correspond the lines properly. Then, when you must have tally the line, you sew on the line you have iron. Then, after you must have also to the point your marketing is stitched very well, have a nice stitch there. Then, when you have a nice stitch there, you you have it done in this form right this is how it will look like so let me turn it and show you the outward look so that you understand what i'm trying to say so this is how it will look like the damp part this is how it should look like it should give you this kind of folding this kind of nature right it should be in this form then after you have done this now now the next thing you're going to do now is to start folding the damp part first the damp part comes next after you must have sewn this line. Now the last, the, the sides will be folded last. Reason being that if you fold the sides first, this way, and now want to fold it down, you have an opening that always come out here, which is not meant to be so. 
so the opening should be facing inward and not facing outside so after you must have done that one now you turn it again inside turn it again inside then start from here place this way start from here fold this one down the first folding now left fold it down inward this way and then place your machine from this edge then sew from here this goes to, this, this is going to give you a nice closing sew from here pin from near there then go down to the other side be in mind that you must have tucked in the first folding in this way so you must do it in this form that is the only way you can achieve that circular folding properly without having any issues always make sure that you remove the underneath of the abada so that you will not sew on top of the outfit make sure it's balanced in this form then you keep on sewing this is one of the simplest methods you can ever come across with. It's very simple, but then you have to be patient enough while doing this. So you, you keep on sewing until you finish the line. Bear in mind that had it been we are making an adult outfit or abada, it's going to give us a more longer line and which will be so boring if you are using manual to sew but if you are using industrial it will be so interesting because you won't stress yourself in the sewing processes so always make sure you open it up properly don't forget to take your time to do this then when you must have gotten to the first ending of the folding as well continue the folding the folding to enter the next line the one other side and um, beside it so keep on the folding coming down so you have it properly done this way now Continue your folding in this direction. The video might be dark, but try to manage the visibility there. So make sure it's relaxed, right? It's going to be relaxed. Then continue the sewing on the down parts or aspects. Bear in mind that we are only sewing the down, no, we have not started sewing the sides. The side will be a one-time folding, a direct folding. So right here, thank you. You keep on sewing this area, and then sew it across your designs or your embed. If you did, you kind of embed them. Then you must have successfully finished folding the down by this time now so when you have gotten to this stage you're done with the down folding so this is the 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 output the result that you have so right here we are done with the down so let me show us how it looks like before i continue with the side so in case you are making a mistake you can correct the mistake now so right here um if i flip it over again then this is how it should be it should give you this um this kind of folding here like as if it's not like a basket like it should give you this kind of folding here right then you are not meant to sew anything again this is how the down should be look at the the results of what you just did right so now 
this is going to be the opening of the boy's leg coming out. Now, like I told you, if you are making for adults, you can increase this to 7, 8, depending on the size. But make sure that the, the, the opening here is enough for him to walk. It should not be too close and then he won't be able to walk any, again. So, uh, I used um, 8 by, by 8. Then this is the um, opening left. So, this is the down part. This is how it should look. Your, your own must be this way. No, no other way for you to achieve a circular folding. And this, this, this gives you a net, neater finishing and sewing. After having done this one now, you now start folding the sides, right? Then my own observation is whenever you are whenever you're folding the sides, try to start from the joints down from the center uh, part of the down part. That don't start from shoulder area. Reasons should in case you have any excesses, you can easily adjust this area and correct it and fold and then have a smooth lap in here. Because most times to fold the circular stuff it do give you um, um, foldings on, on the at the at the damp part of the folding. So when you have gotten to that stage, um, making sure that your ruler is full because it's not good to have it a jointed sewing. Let me reel again and then continue. All right. So after you must have done the down, then I have reeled again. So so I will have a stress one line sewing. Then fold this one again and then refold. Now at this stage. If you really want to give it a nice finishing, you can as well hem. Like put your hemming gum or your cloth gum and whatever gum you have, but don't put gum stuff. Hemming gum, anything, hem it so that it will have a nice relaxing effect here. That's for someone that must have paid you very well, right? And then the cost of this about us sewing, if I'm to give you the cost analysis, probably uh, it will be close to 15k for a kid, material and sewing. 15k, 18k. So right here, you fold it this way, and then start from the center this way, right? Then and start sewing. Then make sure that whenever you're sewing, always draw the material so that it will lap. Don't give it room to have foldings or air inward. Always draw it so that it will lap. Then make sure you sew at the tip, on the tip of the material. Then making sure everything is relaxed, right? Then this is the method we use to achieve the folding nice. So when we must have finished this folding, I will bring my son and then in the next video I will show you or I will give you a picture of him when he's putting it on. And then you will be the judge of the outfit. So right here you try your best to have a straight line. Always make sure that your lines are straight so that you will not be having issues with um, bent lines. Always sew on the tip of the fabric. Then always draw, drag it so that you relax. Don't allow the material to control you. Control the material. When you sew for an extent, you pause, arrange again, and sew. Don't sew with anxiety to finish the work or to with. Uh, being so fast, no, go gradually, you achieve the same result or better results. If you sew a Y, you pause, arrange the material again, and then make sure that everything is balanced. So, right here, as you can see, there are no excess foldings now. But then, in most cases, you might have it um, having these excesses, like this coming out this way. So, by this, at this time now, you can easily loosen this. Adjust the whatever folding you have to lap inside and then before you continue the, the finish. So this here is very much okay. So you always draw and then you sew. So right here, this is the side folding of the one aspect of the abada. I will as well repeat the same processes on the other side. And then I will also like you to watch me in case there's something you missed, and then you might get it right on the second attempt. So this is the nature, this is the feeling it, it will have, right? Then by the time you now coil this area, this area as well will replicate the same nature of folding or coiling. So by so doing, your body will be so relaxed. So after having done this now, I will also repeat the same side fold and then show you the outcome on, on a pictorial illustration or picture share. So right here, let's also fold this together so you can as well see. So you fold once, then fold again. Bear in mind, this is the double folding we've already done with our ironing. Then place it inwards. 
So right here, you start again. You fold it. Make sure you always draw the material down. Then, when you have gotten to this stage, you fold. Fold. So now, so this is the simplest method and the best method, or rather one of the best actually, you can use in folding your hand Remember I told you that this method is applicable to both adults and kids, and both for ladies as well. So, the finishing is the same thing, the difference is the design you might have with the feminine or whatsoever you might wish to use to differentiate between my brother and my male brother. So right here we are done with the folding and then the next video I will show us is the other aspect of the inside center coupling which as well comes in line with the same way of coupling and adult outfits and then the rope trouser that I used in I, I have made that time must have folded this one now you have done the whole folding of the abada, then you now have to go and iron. Make sure you iron it down. So this is how it should look, right? Then this is how it should look. Then I will show you this on the picture I will send to the group so that you will see the finishing. So this is how it is. And then we are done with this. So the next video we see now will be on the key senator top and their trouser closing. Thank you for watching and don't forget that this is Mr. Redefined. Thank you.